celebrate our own solstice. We're here to celebrate the fact that the sun is not going down on Yiddish. And all of you are witness to that and part of that. So thank you for being here. So we have a long tradition of poetry and Jewishness going back to the Bible. We have the Song of Solomon, we have the Psalms, we have the Song of Miriam, and even more than that. So poetry is in our blood. But I don't know how many of you are here for poetry and how many of you are here for music, <laughs> but today you'll get a little bit of both. So I'm not a singer, I won't be singing these poems, but I will be reciting them to you in Yiddish and in English, and sometimes back and forth. These are mostly songs about, poems about love, because I learned from the very beginning of my involvement with Yiddish that we are fighting a whole prejudice. We are fighting a lot of ignorance when it comes to the Yiddish language and the culture that it has wrought for the last thousand years. And so here we are talking about love, not about Babas and Zedas, although that's okay too, but this is a different kind of love. So I, I hope that you'll enjoy these um, offerings to you. <coughs> so the first one is by a, a wonderful woman poet, Kadia Maladowski. She was from Poland. She eventually immigrated to the US before the war, and she became one of the greats of Yiddish poetry. She's also acknowledged in Israel as one of the greats of Hebrew poetry because uh, many of her works were translated into Hebrew. One of the ways in which she was complimented is that she writes like a man. <laughs> but I think you'll find that this poem is hardly about that at all, and only a woman could have written it. Self-Portrait by Kadia Maladowski. Twisted, a 
as likely in sin as not. Vergluss dich mir am Morgen Nacht, a Wundhorn zu mein Eurel auf a Spaß. Kommt, a Finsterkeit vergeht, sich bis in Pass. Schmächlich zu Finsterkeit, bis später bei Nacht. Sometimes I get a hankering at night to win just for fun at my fate. Then comes the darkness, falling deeply on the waist, and I smile at the darkness, late into the night.
surround me with sea, soak me with waves, and then, though you sand me away, still will my ear remain a seashell in which memory thunders and your song glows like pearls. Yam Micharum, Fang in Mirkoch, Wonder Noch, Hotch to some sweet effect, like fine oil, a marshal, who is Dunel Zikorn, who is Herald, Dine Hall. in Yiddish in Los Angeles uh, before moving to the Bay Area. And this is a poem, very, very provocative poet, but this one is called Bletta. It's very lovely and gentle, and, and in words she's trying to capture the movement of leaves. So I will read it entirely in, in English and then you'll hear uh, the Yiddish how that works. Leaves, Malka Chaifas Tuzman. Leaves don't fall, they descend. Longing for earth, they come winging. In their time, they'll come again. For leaves don't fall, they descend. On the branches, they will be again, green and fragrant, cradle swinging. For leaves don't fall, they descend. Longing for earth, they come winging. Blätter fallen it, they niederen. Erd verbengte, they come and fliegel dich. In their Zeit, they will wieder widderen. For letter fallen it, they niederen. They will wieder mit zweigen gliederen. Green und schmecken dich und wiegel dich. For letter fallen it, they niederen. Er verbengte, se kumen, fliegende. Have no honey 
to soothe the hurt. Erst hab ich mein Zahl, wie Bienen angestochene, warum mein Herz gebracht. Und hab kein Honig mit, euch Freunde wohnen, mein Wund. And when my husband takes me by the braid, I will drop to my knees and remain on the doorsill like the petrifaction of storm. Und wird der Mann mich nehmen vor dem Zopf, will ich ein Niederbrechen in sich auf beide Füße und bleiben auf dem Schwell mit der Verstehnigkeit von Storm. I will raise my hands to my head as my mother used to, blessing the candles. But my fingers will stand like ten numbered sins. Ich will die Hand aufheben zum Kopf, bis fleckt mein Mann Tan beim Bändchen Licht. Noch will meine Finger stehen wie zehn gezählte. Writings and for pornography. 
Was that the reason why Adam was ever the happiest man on earth? Because he never had a mother-in-law. Uh, so speaking of Adam, so this is a little a little um, interjection from the Bible. This is by uh, Itzik Mandel. <clears throat> he was um, actually the, 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 the writer that inspired me. Uh, it's what sparked my my joy and interest in, in Yiddish, I don't know, 25 years ago, even though I grew up with Yiddish, even though um, my home was full of Yiddish books, even though I attended the Yiddish theater from childhood. It, it took Mangel to awaken my own love for Yiddish, which obviously continues to, uh, to this day. So he did a whole cycle of poetry based on uh, biblical stories because he felt that he needed to bring them into modern times. Uh, he needed to make them relevant to people uh, today because he felt they were timeless and people just saw them as something, you know, you do on Shul and Shabbos and, and that's the end of it. So, so this one is a story which you may know if you know uh, anything from the Torah. It's the Patriot the patriarch, sorry, Jacob, meets Rachel at the well. So young Gavavina bent, sorry, Bakensiach mit Rachlan. Young Gavavina Bakensiach mit Rachlan. And you hear some French in here. Uh, in, in Yiddish, it's, it's uh, German because uh, it was a way of, of of um, showing that someone was putting on airs. So they would speak a more Germanized Yiddish. Uh, but the translator, a wonderful translator who just died recently, Leonard Wolf, um, he, instead of the German, he used French uh, to, to give that same uh, effect. <coughs> <coughs> Hey, 
This is why my jeans are torn. You see, I can't do it <laughs> I can't do it for a whole lot. So this, this is actually one of mine. It's one of my first uh, poems published in Yiddish. I had published before in English, but this was in Yiddish. And it's a kind of a love poem to someone who um, was uh, very close to my family, who was very important to me growing up. Uh, I'm going to mention his name. His name was Hillel Kempinski. He was an archivist in, um, in New York. He helped so many people write their, do their research, write books on Jewish history, especially Jewish social history. And uh, he was the kind of guy who would um, keep dollars in his shoe so that if someone on the subway asked him for money, he would somehow take his shoe off and give them a couple of dollars, even though he himself had so little. And he, in many ways, um, looked like a, a bird. Uh, his, his knees actually bent backwards. I don't know how that worked. It's like he had no, no joints in his, no kneecaps or something, and he went backwards. So this is uh, a poem dedicated to him. And I'm going to read it entirely in, in English and then entirely in English, I think, so uh, it's easier to understand. <clears throat> and it's called, What Do I Need It For? What do I need it for? I asked the gray heron who stood hunched on one foot by the shore where waves ran up, impatient as tongues, and left behind word morsels that I yet knew nothing of, strewn out over the forming land. Patiently, he pecked his curved beak into the thick, wet sand, till he encountered something to gulp. Tolstoy! Ungeduldig, wie Zungen, und immer geblieben, 
Wortspeise, mir unbekannte, zerspreit auf der vernährende Kälte. She was a partisan. She eventually made it to, to Israel. She made it to Israel. She became part of, of a group of um, basically survivors and then people join them afterwards, but not too many, uh, of, of Yiddish writers, Yiddish intellectuals in, in Israel. Among them, the great Yiddish poet, Avon Suskeva, uh, who is considered to be the greatest Jewish poet of the 20th century. Avon Suskeva is a name you guys, it's worth knowing. And Rivka Basman was part of his group. It was called Young Yisrael, Young Israel. And, and the name was taken from this literary group that uh, existed in Vilna a really short time before the war. It was called Jung Vilna, of which Suskeva was a part. Chaim Grade was a part of that as well. 
And um, even though it lasts for such a short time, its influence just lingers on and on. Um, they were extraordinary writers in that group. So Rivka Baslan and Chaim. And it's called, and she's still, she's, I don't know, maybe 92 years old, but she's still writing. With you, I am calm. With you, I am calm and intimate and need not hold back my words. Like leaves in a crown, sunlit, anchored to their origins. With you, I've entirely rooted myself to the streaming wonder that nests in drops of light, even as it goes under. With you, the day is not sundered. Today and yesterday are not set apart. Garbed in a green that is endless. And you, the eternal guard. Midir benevoyik unnoet. Unichdalf mit bahalten kinderte. Libletta in zunike coin. Thank you.